I'm not saying polygyny is for everybody. That's not what this channel is about. This is not what this video is about. It's not about me stating that, hey, everybody practice polygyny because it's the great thing to do and it's the bee's knees and there's no problems in polygyny. There's problems in anything. There's challenges in anything. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. The content, viewers and educational material you are about to experience could challenge your belief, trigger strong emotions, and frankly, piss you off. This isn't for everyone. If you're not ready to confront new ideas or if your feelings bruise easily, this might be the time to click away. Expect to be challenged, to think, and you might even wanna scream at the screen. Proceed with caution and remember, you chose to be here. Let's get it. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's your coach, Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships and co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygamy Uncensored. And in this video, we're going to discuss a little bit more about polygamy, of course, because, you know, that's usually what we talk about because it does not get its fair airplay. However, I hear a lot about how it doesn't benefit the women. It benefits the man. Um, and how women get things that's divided and taken away from them and all that other good stuff or not so good stuff, so to speak. So let's get into it. Yes, yes, it divides for the women and it multiplies for the men. The women get things divided. The time is divided. However, the time is not multiplied with the husband. He doesn't get more time. He actually, yeah, he gets more wives, so to speak. But with that comes more responsibility, <laughs> more things that he must do in order to make sure that his family is being taken care of. Let me tell you some things that is also divided when it comes to the wife, you know, and I can speak from experience. <laughs> and that is that the responsibility of taking care of a husband. And I'm not saying that you take care of a husband like a baby, but we know that we take care of each other. Husbands, wives, we take care of each other. So taking care of our husband is divided. Yes, he is our husband 100% of the time, as well as he, we are his wives 100% of the time. But because there are multiple wives, whether it's one extra wife or two or three, our time not only is our time divided, but our responsibility is divided. And we have to stop looking at the division of time, so to speak, or the sharing of time, so to speak, as a negative thing, because that's just the time that we're spending with our husband. But we have to be honest with ourselves. Please, let's be honest with ourselves. And even in monogamy, we don't spend 100% of our time with our husbands. We don't spend a big chunk of our time with our husbands, unless, you are the anomaly out there that work from home and he works from home and you don't have children and all you do want to all the time, you want to just look at each other and, and look at each other googly eyed in the face. Maybe that you do have that, you know, and I'm talking tongue in cheek here, but we're going to be really honest. <laughs> so, you know, I like to have fun. I like to be serious as well. But I'm going to let you guys in on that because when it comes to polygyny, any other thing we want to have a problem with the time our husbands spend away. Not at all. But when he is married again or is another wife involved, now it's we don't have enough time or our time is split or is divided and we're losing out or we're missing out. When in all actuality, we actually get a, a a lot of things that we should be grateful for. We should be grateful for. And I'm not saying polygyny is for everybody. That's not what this channel is about. This is not what this video is about. It's not about me stating that, hey, everybody practice polygyny because it's the great thing to do and it's the bee's knees and there's no problems in polygyny. There's problems in anything. There's challenges in anything. However, what we need to stop doing, and yes, I'm going to say that what we need to stop doing is making polygyny out to be the evil twin or the bad guy or the horrible um, way of marriage where husbands don't care about the wives and, you know, wives are being pushed to the side and not cared about or cared for. And they're just sitting home boohooing and lonely. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a number of instances in polygyny where there are wives at home boohooing and feeling sad and sorry and things as far as that. Whether you're a first wife, second wife, 
ain't gonna lie, if you're still a wife in polygyny, it was a choice. The choice may not have been easy, you know, and there's different reasons and different ways and different things that we may have went through. <laughs> but when it all comes down to it, we have to understand that um, we did choose this. We did choose the life that we live. So the thing is, we don't want to take responsibility when it comes to polygyny because it's easy to play victim or it's easy to get people to feel sorry or for, feel bad. And um, if it's something that we're not sure if we're really operating it at our highest level, it's easier to put place blame than to take responsibility. However, we got to understand that we have to take responsibility for the choices that we make, regardless of if it was easy or hard. Those are still choices that we've made. We're in a, we are adults here. So when it all comes down to it, yes, there are many benefits, a plethora of benefits when it comes to wives and polygyny. Am I telling you, hey, you're, it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But there are benefits in polygyny for women. And the benefits do seriously outweigh the men because a lot of things are multiplied. Even if they have children by this wife and another wife and his other wife, the children, um, the, the care for the children multiplies. But with the women, it's pretty much split because if you're caring, if you're taking care of one another as a family, if you're understanding that we as women um, are natural nurturers, and it doesn't matter if that child came from us or came from somebody else, that we still want to make sure that child has the best. And because we're a family and we believe that our family should win, it doesn't matter who's taking care of that child when and where and how or whatever the case may be, as long as we understand that we are all in it to win it. And we all have that same goal in mind. So then it may be times where this wife says, you know what, I want to do a few things or I want to take a me day or a break day or whatever the case may be. And she's like, hey, do you mind watching the kid or do you mind the kids coming over? So case in point, and it doesn't have anything to do with having break days or anything like that, but it does go into how co-wives work together. Um, the younger kids get homeschooled at the house that Coach Nadir and I share. And that does give Coach Fatima her time to do whatever she chooses to do because the other children are mainly adults in the household um, besides, you know, our 16-year-old. <laughs> I, say I say our because that's my bonus baby and um, that's my baby. So when it comes to that, uh, when it comes down to it, she gets that time. But then they also go over the house that, a coach now there shares with her um, for different um, outings or um, to go play or to get away for a second, to just have a change of scenery and to even spend nights. And that gives me my time too, break time. <laughs> Husbands don't really have that for the most part. And then you may think they do, but they really don't because they still have to think, okay, I need to get food. I have to run errands. I have to do these different things. Now, I don't know how the dynamic is set up. And if you're in polygyny, I don't know how your dynamic is set up. But I know for us, that's kind of how it is. You know, um, we all help out and we run errands for each other and do these things like that. But when it all comes down to it, Coach Nadir does the bulk of the, the, the heavy lifting. And he does. So, you know, yes. I will be grateful and I would say that I'm very privileged and we as wives and even the children are privileged when it comes to that. So yes, there are different dynamics and things like that, but when it all comes down to it and we want to say polygyny done right, you know, it does come to being understanding with what the roles look like and what that looks like in your family dynamics so your family can win. So we, what I'm saying is, Let's stop pointing fingers. Let's stop placing blame. Let's stop talking about polygyny like it's some crazy out of the just out of the backwoods type of weirdness that only the men benefit for their lustful desires and no one else, not even the children benefit. And that's a whole nother video for another time because people do have the question and that's coming up soon too. Oh, what about the kids in polygyny? Do the kids get to see their, their dad every day or is it split 
50-50 or they only see them half the time when they used to see them 100% of the time. And in our dynamic, they see their father every single day, even though he have two separate households. Anyway, that's for another day. So if you guys like more content like this, if you guys like this and think that it can benefit someone else, make sure you like, share, because sharing is caring, and comment down below um, what your polygyny dynamic is if you are in polygyny. And if you're not in polygyny, but you are thinking about it, or that seems like a topic of discussion in your household, what does your ideal situation look, will look like? Put that in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And until next time, make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. It's your coach, Coach Nyla. I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.